think every startup that, or just about every startup that I'm familiar with, and I don't mean just startups, but also large companies, which were also once startups, they never have just one leader. You know, they usually have at least two uh, founders or two leaders, but usually it's a little bit more than that. And everybody plays some version of a different role. You know, you have the, uh, I, in my, I think there's probably three roles in a successful company. There's like the visionary, there's the um, detail oriented person, the sort of quality control, the, you know, uh, and then there's usually a, a more of a sales type person, somebody who just knows everybody, right? And usually between two or three people, you share those roles in some way, depending on the talents, right? How do you see that with your co-founder or co-founders? Um, what role do you play and how do you guys balance each other off to make the company successful? Uh, I'm not sure I would be able to fit uh, uh, our <laughs> leadership team into that, those categories. Uh, I'll, I'll say that a bit differently. I'll, I'll defer to what you said earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have to bring in people who are preferably better than you, so they have to be better than you at what they do. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's, it, it doesn't matter. Um, and I don't think that the leadership team is just built on, on the founders. Um, I, think, I think that as, as you progress, you bring in people who are far more, uh, far, far more experienced than you in a lot of things. And preferably those things are, are the ones that you're probably weakest points and so it makes a lot of sense that you add them to the leadership team yeah. um, because there's a good reason that you brought them on. You supply, let's say in our case, the technology side, the product side, the vision. Uh, I think this is a, a, a super important part of being the, the CEO is to be able to understand the vision, mm -hmm. articulate it, and then let the rest of the people do the magic. So. If I, if I divide the role of the CEO, it's basically decide on the vision, obviously with your leadership team, but at the end of the day, make the decision, hire the right people to create that vision and make as little decisions as possible because that means that there's some sort of a collision between the, the departments and they couldn't decide without you. Um, so... At the end of the day, you're sort of deferring more and more of your own role and you're hoping, or at least you have to make sure that people make the decisions based on what you would have done to create that vision that you set out to create. Yeah. And, and so for me, a leadership team cannot be, uh, uh, cannot be just the founders or uh, in that sense. And I think e every one of these should supply their own uh, so sort of everything of what you just said, because not me, not Tal, not uh, Tom, our VP of product, can go to our VP of sales and say, uh, look, your metrics are incoherent. We have to get those metrics from him, whether it's through his uh, uh, business operations manager or whatnot but he has to supply those metrics or we have to trust him that he, uh, you know, fills out the sales force correctly so we can measure everything up. And it's true across all departments. That's why we work with measurable goals. Um, so one of the things that we really like about Granulate's product is that you can measure everything. If we impacted your performance, uh, you can see that. And the same goes for any department. We want to make sure that we understand how it works. So every department has to have that guy that's very detailed oriented in our case, at least. 